really. You don't want, listen, if you can gather your brain together on social media's addiction, it's by far worse than any addiction on your planet. Drugs, everything. It is a drug. Get off these internets and see what life is really like again. Try to re-regulate your mind and see where you are. And if those people you don't want in it, say goodbye. Never want to know you. Can you do it? I know I can. I know I can. I've done it my whole life. When I'm done with something, by God, I am done with it. And there's not a thing in the world that nobody can do to ever make me go back to the way that that is. That's a strong mind, yet it can be a weak mind. Just one day you'll have an epiphany and say, that doesn't mean nothing to me anymore. No and in my case, I'll let it go. And never think about it again. And when you're forgetting, it doesn't matter anyway. It really does. Problems that can include memory loss that disrupt a daily life. Disruption and interference are two separate things. You might get in your car and you can't shift it right. That is a sort of a interference, but it's not a disruption. Something that disrupts your daily life where you knew something was working as our brain ages. Disruption and, and something just getting in your way, they're not the same thing. A disruption is massive. If something debilitates your life and disrupts your life, that's not an interference in your life. No, no, it's not. Poor judgment, loss of spontaneity, losing track of dates, oh my God, taking longer to complete a normal task, just like this, repeating the same behavior, repeating the same thought, and not really knowing where you do know that you're doing it. That's part of obsessive compulsive disorder too. It's part of every part of your fiber being, down to the last stem cell and molecular structure. Not what somebody else's is. Taking longer to complete a normal daily task. I used to do this all the time, though, you know? Read and play music and study and ball. What should have been a, you know, an hour practice, I'd be five. Or a couple hours of basketball practice, it'd be like one day seven. I was doing this early, younger than I was ever diagnosed of a borderline personality, about 22 years old. Were the symptoms there of mental illness growing up? They had to be because of my childhood abuse. I just suppressed them and stayed focused on my schedule. What I want to do, learning, learn, learn just like I'm doing on this video, and then I lock it down. That's what I'm doing now. I'm not, I've never been on YouTube, a monetized channel. I've only kept a PayPal. I don't understand people putting their banking information out there. Uh, I'm not the kind of individual that needs validation from other people to seem to matter. You either do or you don't. That's what lies with inside of you. What people make you feel about yourself, you can't allow that to happen unless you do it. Nobody can make you feel any way that you don't allow. And people are, have a tendency on social media to habitually stay in one area of what they like. Make sure it's uh, validated what you like. Make sure it's educational. I can't speak for another. Some people really love to continue to do this drama stuff. You know, I woke up one day and I was done. I mean it, this last week I was done. And I really haven't spoken of them since, except uh, uh, Savage. I think it's absolutely stupid. I really do. I think I got 15 minutes of her stream last night, said this is bullshit, I'm getting out of here. And saying I'm not like that. That's not who I am. I don't need to ask for somebody's money to pay me to go to Georgia. Just go act like you're gonna beat up some other girl. That's little girls trying to be a woman. That's for money, attention, subscribers, and views. It's so damn obvious right in front of your face with all the money drop links and they're making fun of Katie Robies. they would be like, Georgia money, honey. But they couldn't stand Katie. Now they use her phrase. You got a grandmother out there begging for Georgia money to claim she's going to beat the shit out of Karen. Yeah, that's legit. That's, that's, real, that's real promising. That's a beta woman. These women have big mouths. They've never, they're never going to back it up. They'll never do that. They'll go to jail. Get back on the topic if I want to. If I don't, there's that. Trouble handling money and paying your bills. This one's highlighted in blue. Now, I don't know a lot of women. They like to spend money. Uh, they like to have nice things. Uh, paying your bills come first. Prepare, and you'll never be disappointed. You shouldn't have to be on an internet system when America is in a trillion dollar deficit trying to have somebody pay your bills. YouTube is supposed to be for entertainment and fun, and if somebody wants to give you money, it should be very simple. It doesn't matter if the content's an act of cinema art. You don't ask for money to go beat the shit out of somebody in Georgia. No, silly. There's no jealousy in that. There's common sense in that. You don't go on the internet and ask for your 25-year marriage to Las Vegas. That's right in front of your face. That kind of thought process is subliminal, but it's right in front of your face all the time. These kind of people speaking innuendos and overtones and caricatures where somebody's going to pay them the money. And they know that's all that's for is money, attention, subscribers, and views. The behavior on the internet, if you look at these higher platforms, you'll see money. That's not the issue. That's the stupidity. Attention of how they're behaving to get the attention. The money, the attention, the subs will go up and so will the views. If you're not talking about stuff that matter, uh, if, you're not, if you talk about your government economy, uh, the country's demise, other countries' demise, uh, the total debauchery of everything in your life, your mental illness, your medical illness, uh, what your cats are going through, what your family's going through, the views being yelled and all. When it's something where somebody's tearing the uh, house down, you know, somehow or another, people just tune in and stay stupid. You can sell yourself short or, or get the fuck over yourself. One of the two. It's very, very weak. And very, very easy for me to see. And into myself. If you have the insight, you know you're doing it, you have the ability to change it. What people think about you, screw it. They're going to think it anyway. They're not your family. They're not your friends. No, they're not. I'm, I'm a free channel. I'm usable. I can be cut up. I can be distributed all over the internet where they're making the money and you look like a fool when you're being the authentic vi video. Don't, don't play stupid. Everybody's trying to do something off another. And when you can't use people, people get angry. People get mad if they can't use you. Once they use you and throw you away, you don't matter anymore. When they're using you, it matters. 
These are facts, undisputed on negative people. Negative people will use people to get what they need. When they can't use them anymore, they actually get angry. That will show up eventually. And if it's there, I have like two or three uh, sock accounts on me. I'm like, goodbye, they were gone. I don't, it just doesn't worry me no more. That kind of stuff doesn't bother me. If I want to speak about somebody's name on the internet, I'll speak about it, but it's very, very, uh, very unintelligent. It's very beta-oriented female. Uh, there's no independent thought, independent thinking. If you have to have a bunch of people validate you, I feel sorry for you. If you hurt somebody, just say, I hurt them. Say you've hurt them everyone and you'll be just fine. Cover the whole boundary and move on to the next boundary. As long as they're happy in their own superior circle of a bubble. Next, the trouble handling money. This falls under many, many different things. 